means it's time for our weekly box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Coming in the number one spot this week is the new film Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, making $30.3 million on its opening weekend. Coming in the number two spot is the new Johnny Depp film Black Mass, bringing in $23.3 million. In the number three position, dropping just one spot from last week is the Bloomhouse film The Visit, making $11.3 million. In fourth is last week's number one film The Perfect Guy, dropping nearly 63%, but still bringing in over $9.6 million for a two-week total of $41 million. Rounding out the top five is the true story of Everest, making over $7.5 million on just over 500 screens, making it the number one earner per screen this week. John, what stands out to you in this week's box office report? Uh, well, the first thing that stands out to me is uh, somebody at this table absolutely nailed the five for five, the box office predictions on, on Who Friday. Could that be? It was either Mark or me. I can't remember. Mark, can you remember which one of us did that? No, nah, it escapes me at the moment. All right. Well, right. I'm sure you guys can go back and review Friday's show. <laughs> but one of the things that stands out to me a lot about this particular top five, every film in the top five, just because I've been complaining and moaning about this a lot lately, every film in the top five was under $62 million budget. The most expensive film on this list was uh, Scorch Trials at $61 million. And let's look at The Visit for a second. The Visit now, hanging in there in, in number three, it actually overtook The Perfect Guy with $11.3 more million. It's now made $42 million domestically on a $5 million budget. Bloomhouse strikes again. Well done. I think we're going to see probably the Shamhammer do a couple more things now. So those are things that stands out to me. I mean, I love seeing that, you know, films with modest budgets are having some success. I think that's terrific. Don't get me wrong. I love my blockbusters at the same time. <laughs> I really do. Um, and, you know, seeing a film like The Visit hanging in there, The Perfect Guy is now at $41 million on a $12 million budget. I mean, it's stuff like that that's really exciting to see. Anyway, Schnepp, what stands out to you about the box office well specifically that all five films are so different and varied like this is oh, like a, a healthy uh robust cinema that i'm seeing like everest you've got scorch trials the you know the visits so you have horror you have some sci-fi you have some like gangster thriller black mass you've got a, a, a true bio like a, you know everest yeah and then you have the perfect guy like kind of a romance comedy so it's sort of which no, I don't. The perfect guy is not a romance it's, it's comedy. Not. No, it's more like a thriller. <laughs> okay. Kind of going to kill you. Funny in a real I haven't way. seen that one yet. <laughs> yeah, I thought the perfect guy was a comedy. <laughs> it's not. All right. Well, um, yeah, Schindler's just, List. I'll Michael, laugh a minute. Michael Ely plays really, a zany guy who might be murdering people at gas stations. <laughs> Trust me, fear him. It's funny. It's a comedy, right, guys? I have to see it. I have to see a. I have to see a lot of these films. Well, you've been off in Portland yeah, this so weekend. I, so. it, to me, I'm excited because I can see all of these movies this week. So yeah, you know the one that stands out to me is the visit that it's like it's hanging in there yeah i honestly thought it would like rock at the first you know the first weekend and then like disappear but you know word of mouth has traveled and people are like see that woman pour the stuff on her head you know whatever it is <laughs> see grandma go freaky with the clam chowder that's <laughs> that's gotta be it yeah, that's another one of your romantic comedies is <laughs> the visit. yeah that's uh, one of my dreams i didn't see the scorch trials but i'm glad it was number one because they wasted half of the previous movie setting up the fact that hey we got another scorch trip we got yeah, another maze right, runner coming yeah. out go see it so good i'm glad that you got your number one at the box office i thought black mass might have enough muscle to overtake it because johnny depp's performance and joel edgerton performance were getting such rave reviews that maybe it could bounce it but I understand everybody in the young adult genre wanted to go see Maze Runner I get it Everest is the standout to me mm. because that was on like what 500 screens yeah. in IMAX and it still is a top five movie at the nationwide box office. That's pretty impressive. I'm very interested to see what Everest does from here when it expands to theaters that are non-IMAX. Do people still want to go see this story because it's about Everest and you feel like you're on top of the mountain? Or is it just an IMAX thing that's going to come and go pretty quickly? We'll have to wait until next week when we have a lot of good competition. Now, this is something that is interesting. The number two... Now, if you break down the per screen average, you look at how many screens did this movie open on? Mark just mentioned that Everest opened on like 500. If you break down the per screen average, how much money per screen did each movie do? The number two on our list was Maze Runner Scorch Trials, which made just basically $8,000, $7,993 as a per screen average. 
Everest did thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars on a per screen average. So I'm I can't help but wonder if the studio's got to th be thinking right now about rolling it out a little bit wider mm -hmm. with positive word of mouth and see what they can do from there. Absolutely, yeah. And also Mission Impossible Two, I think, is like it's like five million dollars away, or Mission Impossible Five is five million dollars away from two hundred million domestically. domestically. Mm. So yeah, that baby just keeps on chewing. I think it'll cross it sometime this week. So kudos, wow. you earned it.